hello, this is Vern. And if you're a single woman who's tired of this whole thing of being single, well, stick around because on my episode today, I'm going to be revealing to you four truths that you need to know about finding your guy. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And I'm very excited today to be sharing with you four truths that you need to know about finding your guy. I'm going to start right ahead with the first one. And that is, it is absolutely not easy, but it's possible. <laughs> and here's why I'm making this distinction right first at the beginning of this whole thing. Because there's this huge misconception that finding an amazing soulmate, finding devotional love, finding a guy that you feel you can be at home with, who sees you completely for who you are, who loves all parts of you, is just something that happens just without any type of effort. Because that's what you see in movies, that's what you grew up listening in fairy tales. And what I'm here to tell you is that if you're looking for something incredibly special, the kind of relationship that most people around you, let's be honest, don't have, it's absolutely possible. And I'm telling you this after having worked with so many thousands of women throughout my life, help them to find that. But I can also tell you that it's not something that just happens spontaneously without you taking any type of action whatsoever. And if you start the process of creating the love that you want, instigating that, inspiring that in someone from an understanding that it's not the simplest thing in the world, but that it is possible, then when you encounter the inevitable obstacles that this fun <laughs> process creates, then you won't be surprised. You know that it's part of the process. The second uh, element in this, the second truth that I want to share with you today is similar to the first one, but more specific. And that is pain is part of the process. Okay. Pain is part of the process because it requires, it's painful to connect with someone and not be fully understood at the beginning. It's painful to find someone that you feel is the right guy for you when in reality he's not. And having to start from scratch after investing time and energy. It's painful to get uncomfortable to create that first connection, to smile instead of frown, to look at someone's eyes and go inside their heart instead of doing the normal comfortable thing, which is just having this superficial conversation. It's painful, but it's part of the process. Pain is a thing that allows you to wake up to a new reality, to value what you have, to honor yourself, to stop, uh, put some limits sometimes, you know, put some boundaries uh, where they need to be set. Pain is your ally in this process. And if you take the pain that's part of this process as a sign that it's not working, then you will stop very short from making this happen. <laughs> Anyone anyone I've ever found or I've ever helped who's created this has not done it without some level of pain. And that's because to grow to the next level of you as a human being, you have to get uncomfortable. And getting uncomfortable is painful in some ways, but it's also exciting. In that realm of you getting uncomfortable, there is so much excitement. There's so much freedom. There's so much newness. There's so much you finding what you're really made of. And that's why this process is so exciting. The third truth you need to know about this is that if you can't have fun in the process between now and when you find this amazing guy that you're going to share the rest of your life with, ideally, if you can't enjoy the process, you're missing the whole point of this process and of this life. And here's what I mean. The milestones that you experience in your life, finding your guy, getting married, having your first child, having your second child, buying a home, you can probably count them. There may be 10 of those in, the, in, in your life. But there's millions of other experiences in between those milestones that are as powerful as those if you can be present and if you can connect to your heart. So if you're able to create a sense of awe, joy, passion, excitement, aliveness, and curiosity that makes you feel insanely happy before you meet the guy, when you enter the relationship, you're going to have that which you became to share with your partner. If you're moping and gloaming, if you're feeling that you're missing, that you're lacking, that life is less than because you haven't found this, in that process, that's who will encounter someone. And that feeling of lack is what you'll have to share with him. And 
typically, in my experience of witnessing thousands of these encounters, that creates the, the root of a, of a dysfunctional relationship, of a codependent relationship, when both human beings who connect are just lacking and they're not enjoying life and they're looking to each other to complete themselves instead of giving more of themselves and creating something even more magical. <laughs> the last point that I want to share with you is that it changes when it does change. When it does happen, it changes in one second. It changes in one instant. Now, you do the work, you create connections, you make it happen, you become vulnerable, you express your heart, you use your intuition, you do all the tools that I've been sharing, both here on these videos and on my private practice. You do all those things, but it's very important for you to know that you can go from not ever having found your soulmate in your life to finding your soulmate in less than one second. In fact, that's how it always happens. Here you are, 40 years of not getting this, and you enter this restaurant, and you decide to smile and to bring it instead of like looking down, and you cross eyes with someone who looks at you and who approaches you and who gets your number and then takes you on a first date and then a second date and then a third date and then you become exclusive and then you create this uh, plans for a wedding and then you get married and then a child. I mean, that's how it happens. You go from not having found this human being to finding them in one second. So no matter how disappointed you are, no matter how many years you've experienced not finding this, I'm telling you from experience that when it does happen, it's going to happen very quickly. And it's not that it happens in that one second. Everything you've been doing is preparation so that when you are ready and he is ready, it flows. <laughs> so uh, be ready, prepare, step into this, enjoy the process and know that there's absolutely no finding of what you want if you're not willing to experience some level of pain. Thank you for connecting with me today. If you find this is useful, helpful or insightful in any way, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. So very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Thank you for sharing your heart with me. Thank you for being part of this journey of mine. And if you have any questions for me, please a comment on any of my videos and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video with an answer just for you. <laughs> Thank you.